Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be doing my August haul as you can probably tell from the title of this video um, and it's really really small because obviously I already did a full on haul this month which is my Florida haul so if you haven't seen that I'm going to link it in the description bar as well as obviously if you haven't seen my previous video you can tell that I cut my hair um, it's not looking its absolute cutest because I kind of did it really quickly but if you want to see its full potential make sure you check out my previous video which was a vlog which is also going to be linked down in the description bar I'm going to jump right into it so I can show you guys the few pieces that I have. Um, all the clothes that I have are vintage which makes me really happy. I love vintage stuff. So the very first thing that I have is probably the coolest thing in this haul and probably the coolest piece in my wardrobe right now because it's so unique. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's incredible. So it has like this kind of print on it. You can kind of see it peeking out at the bottom there. So it's got brown, orange, green, and yellow. It's very like it's like a very like late 1960s dress um, and it looks like this and it has these really long like I want to say like fringe bits on it but it's not really fringe it's like long rectangles so when you like move around it has these long drapey pieces it's really hard for me to show you guys like on camera you'll see it in the try-on portion because it's just it is the coolest um i've seen some videos and photos of dresses like this from like the late 60s but i've never actually seen one in store and i found this on etsy for like around 30 dollars i think shipping was like 10 dollars. so for me like 40 dollars is totally worth just something like so unique and so cool and i don't really know where else i'm gonna be able to find it and it is in like pristine condition like it honestly looks like I literally just bought this at the mall and like brand new the next thing that I have is a romper and this one was dead stock from the 1960s it did have the tag attached to it but I already washed it so obviously I took the tag off um, but it looks like this so it has a bit of a white um, section up here at the top and then the whole front part where the buttons are is also white and then it has this kind of like burnt orangey red brick color to it which I think is like really neat. Shorts on them are actually really really tiny so this is something that I would wear to like the beach or like poolside or something like that. I think it's like really cute. I don't think I would wear this like walking around the city or anything because it is a little bit short for that um, but I think with a tan by the beach or at the pool it would look really really cool. And then I have two dresses that are not exactly the most fall appropriate and I know everybody's jumping on that fall bandwagon right now because obviously it is getting a little bit cooler kids are going back to school fall is in the air so everyone's kind of buying all their fall stuff but here I am you know I have two pastel dresses um, so the first one is a like early 1960s dress and it is yellow purple and cream um, and I just think it is so beautiful this one is from the brand uh, a Sue Brett junior dress so it is junior so it is supposed to be for like young girls I guess but this fits me perfectly um, so it does have a vintage tag on it which I love um, so it looks like this it's really really pretty it's fit and flare and then it has all these pleats going across the bottom uh, and this really beautiful plaid I think it's really darling and you could even transition this I think into the fall like the very early fall with like a blouse underneath or something um, I think that would look really pretty too the last clothing piece is definitely more of a summer piece and I'm kind of sad I didn't get to wear it this season but that's okay something new for next season um, and it looks like this it is a blue and white gingham dress so it looks like this and then it has like a bunch of pleats going across the bottom it's really really full at the bottom which I really love especially when you like cinch it in with a belt it even adds a little bit more extra fullness to the bottom of the skirt which is really really fun I love that um, so it looks like that and then it does have these little buttons going across the front there which I think is really pretty and then the cool thing about it is at the back there are these long straps, as you can see there, like right there, obviously you can see them. Um, and then you tie a big bow at the back, which I think looks so darling. I just absolutely love it. And I also went to an antique market this month, actually like a couple of days ago, um, and I ended up finding two really awesome things. So the first one that I got is this really beautiful beauty trunk. It is incredible. It is in perfect condition, and it's kind of like this really nice creamy color you could even like double this as a purse if you really wanted to which I think is like another fun way to use these kind of beauty cases um, so then you open it and then on the inside there's like a brown on the inside and then it has a few little dividers on the inside there and then like a bit of more of a plastic bottom so I guess it's kind of to protect the material I'm not really sure and the second thing that I got at the antique market is this little sweater clip and this is probably the only fall winter appropriate thing that I have for this entire haul um, so it looks like this if you're not familiar with these kind of clips are the ones that you put when you're wearing like a cardigan or something and then you can just kind of connect the two sides with it so that it's 
like it kind of keeps the cardigan from falling off. I don't really know what the purpose is other than it just looks really cute. Um, I do have a CD and this is Al Bowley and if you have not listened to Al Bowley, like where have you been the past 90 years? Um, it's incredible. He's an incredible singer. I love his music. It just kind of like transports you to a different time, a different era and you have to kind of go into it with a romantic mind. I think it just kind of makes a better image in your head. I feel like when people listen to music from like the 1920s or the 1930s, they kind of go into it thinking like horror movie. I don't know why, but that's not really my mindset. I always think of it more of in like a romantic kind of perspective. So I think that really helps. Um, and I find it like amazing. I love his music. I think he's an incredible singer. So 100% uh, I would definitely recommend you guys listen to it. Um, I'm going to link this one down below. I actually got this off Amazon. It was really inexpensive. I know a lot of his songs are on like YouTube and stuff. Okay, last but not least, I went to Sally Beauty Supply because obviously I cut my hair and I wanted some different things so I can create some different hairstyles without always using like a flat iron or a curling iron. So I ended up buying a couple of things. So the first thing that I bought was this is like the most ridiculous thing ever I don't even know why I bought this okay um, it is like one of those blow dryers that blow up so then you just kind of sit there while it blow dries your hair because obviously I need that in my life because I can't just blow dry my hair with a regular blow dryer um, so I kind of wanted to do a video kind of testing these out and comparing it to an actual blow dryer I think that would be really cool I also wanted to test out just fully drying my hair like naturally and seeing how that turns out as well as trying it with some rollers and seeing the effect of that so just pretty much testing it in different ways and comparing it to a regular hair dryer I think that would be really neat so yeah I'm really really excited to test it out if you guys want to see some videos on it let me know because this is something that interests me so I'm hoping that some of you guys would be interested in it um, and then at Sally Beauty Supplies this is the last thing that I got in this haul and I got some rollers to try out in my hair because I really want to have like a really strong like flip on it kind of like this this is I just kind of blow dried it with like a round brush but I want to have a more defined flip and for it to actually last because I know this is going to last the rest of today but if I wake up tomorrow it's not going to be this flipped so um, I've just bought some to try out I bought two packs of these little pink rollers. Um, I haven't tested them out, so I don't want to say any reviews on it or anything like that so far. So I bought these ones. Um, and then to have some more volume at the top of my head, I also bought these massive rollers that look like this. This is something that my grandma and my aunt used to use, like back in like the 60s, my mom said. So it's something that I can just kind of add to the top to give me a little bit more volume and have a more authentic like 1960s look, which is kind of what I'm looking for. So that pretty much wraps up today's video. I hope you guys liked it. Like I said, it was a really tiny haul. If you want to see everything else that I bought, make sure you check out my Florida haul. It's going to be in the description bar. Um, as well as let me know in the comments if you have any video requests coming up for like the fall hair tutorials beauty fashion literally anything you want just let me know in the comments and i'll see you guys next time bye